Welcome to the Game Pass Hero. My name is Shane. Here's the 30 second pitch. I play games on Game Pass, play them on my Xbox. Come and join me. The barrier to entry is about that big. And as long as you are kind and respectful, that's kind of what uh, we're going for here. Uh, so just join on in. Uh, I try not to curse or say anything too inappropriate or rude or mean or anything like that. Uh, if you come across an like a mature rated game, then I might curse just the, the tiniest little schmoopy poops. Um, but otherwise, if it's anything less than that, then you're going to be totally uh, safe for work and all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. So come along, join me for some games and let's have some fun together. And um, everyone's welcome. Be kind and respectful in the comments to each other. Uh, say whatever you want to me. I don't really care. Um, and that's that's about it. So uh, thanks for joining me. The longer pitch is... Um, Game Pass is awesome. It has genuinely changed video gaming for me. I never understood how people would be like, oh, hey, there's this awesome game. It's about four hours long. It costs $70 out the door. But I mean, like with tax and everything, you know, and it's like, it's amazing. You got to go buy it. And it's like, well, I make 10 bucks an hour, $9 out the door after taxes. And it's like, in order to play that four hour game, I have to trade, you know, something like how many hours of my life, a, a whole day of work just to play a four hour game. So I have to trade a whole day of my life to play a couple of hours and the exchange never made sense. I could not see how a game like that was was worth my time or could be purchased. And then uh, it was it was different when I was a kid. Where you, I would go and just rent games all the time, and that was a totally different experience. Where reviews didn't matter, um, the length of a game didn't matter. It was you rented it and you tried to beat it in just one weekend. And now all of a sudden, Game Pass came along, and it used to be I would buy one, two games a year, maybe like wait for sales and just buy indie games. Or I'd wait till stuff would like had been out for years, and then I would I would wait till it was like ninety percent off, and I'd buy it on one of those Steam sales. You know how it is. Um, or I'd wait for like a great PlayStation deal, or I'd get a well, Nintendo doesn't discount anything, but I would always wait for the sales and the discounts and making everything as cheap as as I possibly could so I could play these games way after anyone was done talking about them. And then I'd go back and like watch episodes of The Completionist and different things like that. And it was cool, but there was kind of a disconnect. And then I started hearing about this thing called Game Pass. And I was like, what is that? So then the Xbox Series X comes out and I'm like, I, I need to get it. So I, I wait in line at GameStop. I get the reservation. I get it. And it has changed. It genuinely, I don't mean to sound overly dramatic. It has genuinely changed everything. Suddenly, reviews don't really matter anymore. None of that really matters. Every game that comes on there, basically, I download it and play it. And it's amazing. It doesn't really matter what, like, I just get to have, I don't have to worry about other people's opinions or what anyone else thinks. I don't have to, like, look into it, like, oh, does it have enough replay value? Do I have to wait for a sale? Do I, do I have to do all these things? It's just download it and experience it. And now suddenly I'm like, oh, now I get why these reviewers who get sent these codes for free and play a three to four to six hour game and they're like, oh, it's the greatest game of the year. Now I get why they think that because they don't have to like bear the financial burden of exchanging 10 hours of their life to play a four hour video game. Suddenly now that I don't have to do that, I see the value in these video games too. And it genuinely has changed the way I look at video games. So I really, really encourage you to come join me. It is, it is uplifting. It is incredible. It has brought back the fun and the magic and the wonder of playing video games again. And it is, it is a truly wonderful thing. Uh, I think someone at Xbox referred to it as the democratization of video games. And I totally understand that. It has opened up video games to me in a way that I could not. I have played more video games on my Xbox than I played in the entirety of the time that I had my PlayStation 4. 
If you took every game I ever had on my PlayStation 4, and I had PlayStation Plus the whole time, if you took every free PlayStation Plus game that I ever got, and every game I ever bought on PlayStation Plus, and you put all of them together, I have played more games on Game Pass since I got my Xbox than all of those games combined, and I've not had it one year. Not one year. It truly is incredible and i've tried games outside of genres i ever would have considered and i get to try them when everyone else is i get to play them and like watch shows where people are talking about them like oh my god did you just play this game that just came out and i'm like yeah i did this is cool so it's really been wonderful and it's really been amazing and it's awesome so I really, I really hope you'll you'll join me for the experience. It's really been wonderful. Um, everybody is welcome. Um, I love everybody, and I hope everyone is full of love and kindness and warmth um, to each other. So I don't like that last part. I'm going to cut that out. So thank you so much. Uh, I, I really appreciate you being here, and I hope you'll play some games with me. Bye-bye.